right, so here he is, one of the biggest superstars in mixed martial arts today, former EA Sports cover boy, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Man, though, that BMF title fight feels like a long time ago. What does Gamebred have to do to get on track here tonight? He's got to get a victory, right? That, that fight against Nate Diaz was the fight that truly pushed him through the roof. But then it was setback after setback. He has to make adjustments if he wants to win the fight tonight. He's got to use his tremendous boxing and his great takedown defense to allow for him to earn a victory. That's the most important thing right now for Jorge Mata. Yeah, he's got a lot of jiu-jitsu skills as well, but ultimately he wants to keep this fight on the feet and showcase his striking skills. Figures to have a pretty significant advantage in that area in this matchup tonight. that he needs to fight at. He doesn't want to be close where he's throwing hooks to the body and punches. Use those legs, dig that shit into the body, and try to slow down your opponent. Oh, Edwards' is a strike attempt there is blocked. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Certainly not an issue for this guy. Very tight. He's as sound as they come, right? A lot of times you see a guy that comes from a fighting background and they wing everything. They try to knock everyone out with a strike. Masvidal does not do that. He takes his time, finds and picks his spot, 
That's why he's getting the finishes that he gets down. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent. Here. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may... Oh! Liver kick! He's hurt bad. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 45 seconds remain in the round. Punch coming, it's blocked. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Game Fred gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Final seconds. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we're going to show you the replay now, DC. The big moment, of course, that huge shot to the liver. I mean, a big shot to the liver. He was looking for it all night long, and eventually he found it, and it showed why. Most of his effort has been spent on trying to find that shot. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards Ready. versus Jorge Masvidal. Oh, nice kick. Leg kick lands. Nice defense there, huge block. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Edwards gets caught by that straight hand. He looks like Pac-Man is taking so many strikes to the head. He got him hurt bad here. Oh, big left. Nice kick there by Gainbrook. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate... He's hurt bad. An uppercut there. Edwards' eye is starting to swell now. Oh, big up. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Edwards' kick is blocked. Well, the numbers continue to pile up here. 56 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And the accuracy rate about 42% now against Jorge Masvidal. really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, Masvidal in a real flow here, sticking and moving. The crowd is, like, just reacting every time he moves. Masvidal now has the crowd eating out of his hands. The one thing about Jorge that makes him so difficult to deal with is he never allows you to trap him. When you think you got him trapped and try to hit the four takedown, he evades and escape. Phenomenal fighter. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And now Masvidal's die really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. 30 seconds to go in round two. Masvidal Silver. Oh! oh, no! Ten minutes in the 
can. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool. And I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't Ready. going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's home. Third round underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous round. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, another knockdown! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Beautiful straight punch there by Edwards. Big shot lands for both guys. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so a swing and a miss there and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Oh man, you can hear it bone on bone. Nice double leg. Gamebreak gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, I am. Oh! Huge liver kick! That might do it! He's hurt bad. With two minutes and change to go in round three. All right, so he continues to attack that area of. You heard him again. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs, you could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Leon Rocky All right, we congratulate Leon Rocky Edwards. He won this fight by TKO, and just a lot of good work with the hands, had the kicking game going as well. It's a five-tool striker right I there. I mean, Leon, has, he has it all, John. The guy can now wrestle. We saw it in the...